There it is, guys. That's all it takes to get unlimited bottle caps in Pokemon Sun and Moon. That you need to find someone that has this Treasure Hunt 2 star set up and you want to add them as a VIP immediately. Now, I got super lucky. All Kiss is actually one of my DS friends. So, we actually got this set up and then I can make him a VIP. And now, the bottle cap madness begins. So, there's, there's something really interesting that we noticed. So, actually, this is the uh, place right here. So right now, I just bought this. This is Big Dreams 1 Star. And you can just draw a lottery ticket the second you replace any kind of lottery area. And what it's going to do is it's going to skew the results in your favor and give you something better than you should have gotten. So I just want a Max Elixir right there. Now the cool thing is I can head back over to this guy and I can go and buy a treasure hunt. So what I want to do is replace the one I just bought with the treasure hunt and let's... Dude, do you know any good facilities? Yeah, this, he, of course he knows the good facilities. So let's go and get an introduction right there. And then what we want to do is replace the big dreams. Now, as you might've noticed from my earlier festival plaza guide, I had all treasure hunts set up and stuff. And most of them were two stars. Well, I didn't realize that they were giving me bottle caps every time I was installing them. And what you want to do is you want to remove any duplicates that if you actually get someone to buy you or to bring uh, another festival area to you. It's going to cost more if you have duplicates, which is why we're replacing these right now So I'm going to do is I'm going to take this save the game and then put in my treasure hunt 2 right here But then what I want to do is I want to also have a friend that has big dreams one star Because it's going to cost me 50 festival coins to put in the big dreams Then another 100 to replace it with the treasure hunt And then you can infinitely cycle through and get all kinds of really good loot from this now You could technically put anything here But I just recommend the big dreams because you're getting free max elixir while you're also going and getting bottle caps for hundred and fifty festival coins each now watch this bottle cap There it is done That's that's how broken it is and if you don't believe me I can do it again, but like as I was setting up my festival plaza I noticed this but I didn't think anything of it also I Should have I think I've randomly VIP this guy uh, No, I VIP someone and they ended up having like, you know, the the treasure. Yeah, the big dreams one star um, he wants it for a hundred though, so that might be a little too much. You can also look for ones that are doing it for 50, or like I said, you could just replace it with any old thing. So, whatever this person has, I can go and replace that. So, do you know any good facilities? Rare Kitchen. Rare Kitchen's only going to cost me 50, so let's go get an introduction right there. Then we're going to replace the treasure hunt, but don't worry! We got that set up with our VIP over there, so we can go and replace the treasure hunt whenever we want to. And literally, the game will let you do this, and it will let you grind up bottle caps. Now, it will cost 150 bottle caps per... Uh, rotation, but when you think about it, it literally takes nine minutes to get that or even less if you are going to be doing festival missions So let's run back over here and let's go and get ourselves another bottle cap because we can Isn't that isn't that isn't that just amazing how this works? So yeah, and I had a good amount of festival coins already lined up so after doing the math and after seeing like what the Average output of festival coins is like you can realistically get around a thousand uh, festival coins per hour, which means you can have a full competitive Pokemon every hour with this method And it's just so silly right there now. I do I, I first wait. Let's go Let's go and give the proof. Let's go and give the proof right there of another bottle cap. Just see how it happens. Yep. Yep. There it is Oh, the system's broken already now I'm not going to take all the cre credit because we have we, there's a little bit of uh, collaboration right here. So Moxity, he's been a fan for quite some time right now. He says, this changes everything. You can theoretically get 50 bottle caps in an hour. Like, yeah, you can actually switch between them in like just over a minute. So if you have the festival coins, it's just 150 festival coins per bottle cap. And that could be worth it to some people because that means a competitive Pokemon every hour. Now, you also do need to still need to get the Pokemon up to level 100, which is actually like the biggest problem with hyper training. Since there's no Blissey bases, since there's no really high experience gains, it could take more than a day to get five Pokemon up to level 100 just through grinding the Elite Four. So, it seems like bottle caps aren't the barrier, but he, he showed the proof too. Bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap. Yeah, he just went and installed all those two-star treasure hunts and then made it happen. Uh, yeah, when you basically cost a hundred 
50 FC per bottle cap. And then he also went and made a Reddit post about that. I don't think that's really fitting on screen really well though, because I I just I just like slapped up a screen region and hoped it would and hoped it would uh, kind of fit well enough. But yeah, then uh, here's the Reddit post. You know, find someone in Plaza that can give you an introduction to Treasure Hunt 2, get the facility, add to VIP list, and then swap it around, and then boom, you're good to go. Has this actually gained any traction on Reddit? No, it actually it hasn't. Oh man, this is a uh, the, the Pokemon Sun and Moon Reddit is a uh, subreddit is dropping the ball right here because that's that's big and like we were talking about this like yeah this happens and the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I remembered this happening when I was setting up. I have like 10 bottle caps and they weren't from fishing, they were from grinding up my vessel puzzle. I just didn't think there was a thing here and then he went and showed the proof. So I could do this as long as I want. I could also do the um, mat type matchups and get as many festival coins as I want as well. Now you can also use a treasure hunt 2 to overwrite another treasure hunt 2. Now it will cost more money because if you already have, as I mentioned earlier, if you already have one of the uh, festival areas, it's just going to cost more to have the same one installed. But if you have more festival coins than you know what to do with, and you want the efficiency, then that's going to be better. That means you're getting two bottle caps per cycle instead of one bottle cap per cycle at the cost of 200 per bottle cap instead of 150 for bo per bottle cap. So some people might find it worth it. And if like some kind of insane festival coin mega mining thing happens where we get like more than a thousand festival coins even quicker then yeah it might be worth it to do this method but you could add another person as your vip just to be safe oh wait i don't want to replace this one though because i'm still doing the 150 method because i'm still a little cheap like that so i'm gonna go and register them as my vip and if the registration fails you might get this error that means you were too slow from what I've seen, like reading discussion boards and seeing other people have this problem, a registration f failure is when both people are not online at the same time. So pretty much if you see them, scoop them up as a VIP as soon as possible, that way you can get the treasure hunt too. Or also find a friend who already knows, like if you do the local communication, you find out that your friend is treasure hunt too, you better add them as a VIP or at least get their friend codes. Or if you know someone who knows what they are, like I know what Alkis is right now, Y2A, so... He's going to be a good friend for treasure hunting right there. Hopefully I don't give him too many uh, friend code requests because of this video. But it just kind of shows that that's another method of doing it. But I had it all wrong. That I had, as you saw, like in my festival plaza guide, I had all treasure hunts. And then I was doing it every day and I was getting nothing in return. Like I have this four star one over here. This four star one cost me 800 festival coins and it, it doesn't work like I got a I think I the highest reward I got was number five or number four out of this and then I had three two stars or was it four two stars and I, I did an insane amount of treasure hunts and I did it for the last couple days I didn't even get a single bottle cap but with this method I could have used that money instead that I was paying 400 200 for extra two star treasure hunts I had two three star treasure hunts which was a, an absurd amount of money as well so I wasted things I could have just doing been doing getting bottle caps instead and also you still technically have the lottery at the end of the day. You come back, check it tomorrow. Sure, it's only a two-star, but there's still a good chance that, that two-star can give you something. So you might get an extra bottle cap or a golden bottle cap or something like that. So there's the efficiency, guys. Also, I wanted to go and hop out and check my Pokepelago because I'm, I'm trying to see all the ways of getting bottle caps. Like, I know you can fish them, but this kind of blows that method wide open. And I'm also going to harvest my beans right now. And we do have a Magnemite. So that'd be something really interesting. And I accidentally clicked on the Mimikyu. So yeah, harvesting beans, you just kind of like have to drag your stylus. Find like an open area to click and then drag it. So yeah, we have a good amount of beans right now. Those refresh every day. So you can harvest a certain amount of beans every day. I think it's on like a 24 hour refresh rate, but I'm going to take these beans because I can right now. And we're going to see what the Magnemite is up to. You always got to check it. You never know if they're going to be shiny because you can actually get shinies through this method, which would actually be pretty nuts. I've actually had like five people tweet it to me. So it seems... I wouldn't say super common, but common enough. So that's going to be all of our beans for the day. And is our treasure hunting up? Ah, oh, three hours. Yeah, I'm not going to wait an hour and a half to upload this video. But I wonder if you call them back early if it ends... Okay, let's let's find out if, if you call them back early. If it gives you no loot or if it still gives you some loot from that. And just tap the sign. Let me know if you want to send your Pokemon out again. So... It looks like it just wastes it. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So that's not... If I was going to get a ball cap that time, looks like I don't get it. So you have to commit your Pokemon to the full time with that. Uh, I've been doing this as well. I've been doing this every day, almost since the game came out. And I haven't even gotten a gold bottle cap from this treasure hunting method. I've seen people post pictures of getting three golden bottle caps in one go. 
So the bottle caps are all over the place. I think the best place to get uh, bottle caps from fishing is going to be where you get Delmas. Now, I don't know if it's been confirmed or not if special fishing spots improve the chance of getting items as well. But when someone was like watching my Delmas guide and they said when they were trying to catch Delmas in like 10 minutes, they were able to get three bottle caps here. Now, I was going for Delmas. I don't think I got any bottle caps. But just kind of shows that if you're going for like ultimate bottle capping, for like the entirety of the game you want to have a treasure hunt going while also like doing this uh festival coin method and then whenever you just wait for your festival plaza to reset every day and then in the rest of the time you're just going to be fishing and then going for those bottle caps right there so i think that's everything for the bottle cap guide i don't really know what else there is to be said just a uh, psa don't do what i did don't call your explorers in early and don't think that you're going to be able to like rig the system oh okay sure that was three fishes. That was three fishes for a bottle cap. Bottle caps are way more common than it seems like they should be. Well, I don't know. It's still a tough call. Like, I haven't gotten any other treasure hunter. If it wasn't for the festival plaza exploit, they would be less common. But yeah, with the fishing, seems doable. So that's kind of thing. But yeah, the level 100 is going to be like the trickiest part for leveling up Pokemon via hyper training. So I think that that's uh, going to be something to pay attention to. And I was saying, yeah, don't... I thought I could rig the system, you know, maybe get a bottle cap per day if I had, like, seven th festival plaza things. But I wasn't even getting a bottle cap every four days and maybe, like, a bo golden bottle cap every three days or something because I'm just maxing out my RNG. That doesn't seem like the way to go in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And I think that's kind of it. I want to see how many bottle caps I have, and then I'll leave this video at that. So after setting up all my festival stuff, after going and checking out shops and stuff... How many bottle caps do I actually have? Wow, I already have 11 bottle caps. Okay, so 11 bottle caps. That means I can, like, with legendary Pokemon, you're guaranteed three IVs. So that's effectively four legendary Pokemon, depending on how you're going to break it down. Like, I only need to use one bottle cap on my Nil Ego, so that's one Pokemon right there. And then depending on how your breeding goes, you know, you can just get a four IV Ditto, and then use bottle caps to top off your Pokemon, but then the level 100. I think the level 100 is still going to be a pretty big barrier for bottle caps and stuff. But if you do that method, then there's still technically a way to not have to worry about breeding while still gaining access to all the competitive Pokemon you need. We're going to see if any other experience guides come out and stuff at the same time, but that's a, that's a little silly. And the exploit makes it even sillier. So if you guys enjoy the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.